here we are getting ready for class again. Hey, do you overcomplicate things? Do you love going down every rabbit hole? I mean, I'm really grateful to the researchers who really into all the little nuances of this and nuances of that, how this muscle twists, how that muscle turns, what this food does to you, what this food doesn't do to you. Thing is, there are so many people lying to you now. The, the media, government, corporations, they just, whoever's paying them is what they're going to tell you. And that even goes into the fitness industry a little bit. So what I recommend is that you listen to yourself. You keep it simple. You listen to yourself and you don't go down every rabbit hole. I guarantee it's easy. A couple weeks ago, I did it. I quit coffee for a day because one guy told me all the negative effects coffee has. I said, Ooh, he's really smart. Come on, David, you know, you've tested coffee over the years. You don't need coffee in the afternoons. You have your four or five cups in the morning and it ignites your day and you feel great. And it's not the caffeine you're addicted to. It's the coffee. I get that. But the caffeine helps. The caffeine helps. So, and I, I thrive on it. I thrive on that eating plan, on my eating plan and adding coffee to it. Sometimes I have a little butter with it to kind of tamp that down. But that was, that's a little side. My point was stop listening to every single guru out there. You know your body knows what works best for you. Are you tired and lethargic all the time? Yeah, you probably need to make some changes. Do I recommend low carb? Absolutely. I actually recommend carnivore, but low carb, sure. Low carb can work. Um, it can help. That's the best results I've ever seen with anybody I've worked with. I've worked with vegans, vegetarians. I've been both of those myself for years. And I thrive on the carnivore diet. I thrive for 17 years. So don't tell me red meat hurts me. In fact, if you do, if you really dig in and do the research, red meat has all the nutrients you need to thrive, period. And there's no reason to argue that. I mean, you can find 5,000 different studies that tell you I'm wrong. Hey, all I'm going is on the evidence of 17 years of my eating. I'm fit, I'm healthy, I'm happy, and I feel great. And it's that simple life that does it. I try not to go down the rabbit hole with these guys. So if you have that habit of watching and chasing every single one, you listen to it and he makes so much sense or she makes so much sense, you go, yeah, I'm in. Well, take that with a grain of salt. Listen to your body and thrive within your own body. It's your common sense that's going to help you to thrive. So that's it for today. That's my message. Keep it simple, huh? What they say, keep it simple, stupid, kiss. Anyways, with that, may you move well, stay healthy, be happy, find your passion, find your purpose, and enjoy your life. Talk to you soon. Thank you.